Welcome to Electron Line. There's one more quadrilateral that we haven't talked about in the previous video. It's called the trapezoid. So what's special about the trapezoid? Well, the trapezoid is a quadrilateral that has two sides that are parallel, only two sides. So the other two sides are not parallel to one another, which makes it not a parallelogram. And you can see that it could be the two sides top and bottom. It could be the two sides left and right. And of course, if we take one of these and we turn it around, then of course we have the other type. So you can see that it only has one pair of opposite sides that are parallel to one another. Now, typically, the top and the bottom, they're parallel to each other. They're called the base when we situate it like this. And the two sides on the side here, they're called the legs. Now, sometimes it turns out that the two legs are what we call congruent. Now, if the two legs are congruent, then we call it an isosceles trapezoid. What that also means is that there is a line that we can draw halfway between the top and the bottom, halfway between the top base and the bottom base. And if we draw a line from the one leg to the other leg, that's then called the median. And that median then connects the two midpoints of the two legs. So that's called the line segment, in this case from E to F, and it joins the midpoints of the legs. Now, to find the length of that uh, median or that length of that line segment, we can take the length of the top base, the length of the bottom base, add them together, divide by two, and now we have the length of the median because it's right halfway between the top and the bottom base. Another way to write it is it's one half times the length of line segment AB and the length of line segment CD. So we add the two lengths together, which is again adding the length of the top base and the length of the bottom base, divided by two, we then have the length of the median. So a special case of the quadrilateral called the trapezoid.